Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video tutorial, we are going to be looking at the headers function or the header function in PHP. So to modify the headers that are sent to our browser. Now, why would we need to modify headers that are sent to our browser? Now, there are lots of different reasons for this. You may want to say enable or disable caching of pages. Uh, you also might want to change the document type, so you might want to change it to say uh, a JPEG image or um, a PNG image or something like that. In order to process an image on a page, if you were using say the PHP GD library, uh, which is something you can look at later. However, in this tutorial, because we're just um, talking about functionality of this, we're going to be using the, this header function to redirect our users to another page. Now before we start, it's really important to let you know that the header function, which looks like this, cannot be used um, after output has been sent to a page. So for example, if we have a header called, or a, some header tags, this is a HTML output. Therefore, we're using PHP afterwards to using the header function, however, this won't work because we've already sent data to the page so if you are to use the header function you either have to use it after our content or we need to um, talk about output buffering and starting output buffering on a page uh, which is another tutorial so uh, you can have a look at that in regards to headers so let's just say we have um, a PHP um, a blank PHP page I'm going to create a variable called true in fact I'm going to create a variable called redirect which is equal to true now I'm going to create a simple if statement to redirect us to a specific page um, if this uh, variable is true so obviously this is an example but later on if you have let's say um, want to log a user in or log a user out you might want to redirect them back to a specific page so we start the header function like this and inside we specify the location and to do this we always use the predefined text location and then a colon and after this we specify the page we want to redirect the user to so I'm gonna say redirect page equals um, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash google.co.uk so now what I can do after this is I can append redirect page so this is essentially the same as typing header and then the location inside and then writing writing it like that however I'm using variables just um, so we can get used to the idea that this uh, page may change so at the moment this um, this should redirect us to Google as we enter the page so let's refresh and you can see what that's done is it's redirected me straight over to google.co.uk so let's slightly modify the uh, script I want to say if redirect equals true redirect the user otherwise don't so at the moment redirect is equal to true but I can change this to redirect equals false and we can go back uh, type headers and uh, we haven't been redirected however if uh, we were to change this here to true and we were to redirect to a specific page then we refresh and we are redirected so just by demonstrating the use of the function uh, with regards to redirecting a user you can see that how useful it is in changing page information like I said now this is the uh, this is an example to redirect a user however if you research this function um, enough and watch some of my other tutorials as well because we will be using this uh, function later on uh, you'll understand that it's not just for uh, for redirecting a user it's actually just to modify the header information um, with your your client your uh, browser so bear this function in mind the location feature of it is very important and uh, 
it's uh, a great way to sort of quickly redirect your user without using um, any meta tags um, so HTML meta tags um, and just remember that we can't um, have any output any HTML output before this so I've created header tags my page with the uh, h1 tags now let's uh, go back and go to headers now we've got the my page displayed that's absolutely fine but now we have a warning it says cannot modify header information headers already sent on line 8 so this is the uh, where we're getting the error you can see this is line 8 but headers already sent however if we were to have this below here we're already modifying the pages headers so we are resending header information but we're never going to get to see this so what happens if you want to have a page that already maybe has some output but you need to um, redirect the user at some point well, there's a simple option um, and that's OB which stands for output buffering and we'll discuss that in another tutorial which will be the next in after this.